So once you have your credentials, now what I want you to do is open your this thing, uh, web console, okay? Because we have to run Flume from the web console. Log on. Now in the files shared to you, there is a folder called scoop and flume. Inside that there is a file called a flume.conf. Can you see this? If you open this, uh, I have left this here you have to fill. Can you see this? Consumer key, consumer secret, access token, access token secret. Here you have to copy paste from your credential. Don't use others credential. We'll simulate a web server log. Like ideally it should be a real web server, but we don't have. But we will simulate an e-commerce site uh, web log, then we will pull it into Flume. So copy paste your consumer key, consumer secret, access token, access token secret here. So that it will look like this. This is on my cloud lab. Yeah. So copy paste like you know, consumer key, consumer secret. Don't use this. This is mine. <laughs> Don't use this, okay? And then upload that flume.con file to your Linux. FTP, FTP. Do FTP because it has to be in the lab, right? You need to make one more change. I'll tell you what is the change. I, I will explain what is this configuration, okay? First, you make sure you copy and all, then I'll explain what is this configuration. No, no, no to Linux through FTP. This is in Linux only, not in HDFS. Huh. So, one more thing here, there is an HDFS path. Can you see? And here after user change to your username because mine is user gl faculty so after this change your username and then any folder that you want this is where the tweets will land you don't have that value you have i think right this value is not there in your file it's there right i mean i'm just thinking are we using the same file well, one small con uh, confusion i think i uh, copy pasted it twice so what i will do um, I have this file, right? This is my file. Let me just save it. HDFS DFS hyphen put flume dot conf to GL data. So I'm just uploading this flume dot conf to GL data folder. You download it because this is my configuration. Then I will tell you where you need to change. Got it? You just go to hue. Go go to hue. And if you go to GL data, you will have the Flume configuration. See GL data. Here you have where? Yeah, this file, right? Just download this file in the Linux machine, not in Hadoop. Huh. This is in Hadoop, right? You need to get it in Linux, right? So you have to say hdfs dfs hyphen get right from your home directory what you should do right you are in home directory you have to say hdfs dfs hyphen get and gl data slash flume dot conf to here dot just run this command and it will get the file on in your home directory. Yeah, don't run this. We have to make some changes. So I will just explain the configuration. Then you can make the change and then run the stuff. So all you need to do is one thing. Uh, have you logged on to the web console? Then uh, this is the command you need to run. Just run this command. That's all. Sorry, sorry, not that command. <laughs> HDFS, DFS, hyphen get. This is the command. Log on to web console. Just run this command and you will get this file called flume.com. Make sure you have it. Uh, yeah, yes. And then change the keys. Change the keys. You know how to use a VI editor, right? I mean, at least copy paste. So uh, are you guys able to get the data? I think yes, right? If you get the file, do a vi vi.flume.com. And you should see it like this. Now um, I will briefly explain the configuration, then I will allow you to edit it. Okay. 
So when you configure a Flume agent, you have to give a name for the agent and that is the first one, Twitter agent. Can be anything, can be Raghu. So all the lines are starting with this Twitter agent, right? So the name has to be same, whatever name you are giving. And first I am saying source is Twitter, channel is mem channel, sync is HDFS. That is again some name I am giving. I am saying that I want to create a source, the source name is Twitter, okay? And then you see source.twitter.type. This is where you are mentioning what type of a source you want, Twitter source. So here, this is just a name, Twitter. It can be Raghu also, doesn't matter. I am saying the type of my source is org apache source twitter dot twitter source. That means I want to use Twitter source. And yeah, Twitter agent is user defined. Even the names are user defined. These three are user defined. This is where you define. Flume configuration file you have to define, right? And then what you do, you say that in the Twitter, consumer key, consumer secret, access token, access token secret, you define, right? And you can also mention keywords. Now, if you want, you can change this. I'm just using some keywords like Netflix, Big Data, Trump, Modi and all. So what is going to happen? It is going to connect with the API, Twitter API, and then it is going to filter your tweets. Otherwise, if you, no, not hash. Hash you have to further filter. This will give you tweets matching with these topics. And it is not guaranteed you will exactly get Netflix tweets. So the Twitter data is not properly filtered. And it is not, it is not, it is impossible to filter also because you have millions of tweets. So wherever it finds any match related to Netflix, that entire tweet it will give you. Ideally, right? We have also seen in lot of tweets, you will get a lot of tweets which is not matching also. So how we do with this in production is that when you start getting tweets, you will get like 10 million, 20 million tweets and then you have to process it. Then you have to say, okay, in these tweets, look for hashtag this and then you extract it. So the, this bunch you are downloading may not make much sense actually. It may not exactly have a tweet from Trump or something. This will give you in Avro because the source we are using is org Apache Flume source Twitter source. That's the, uh, there is another source called Cloudera Flume source Twitter source. If you use that source, okay, that is as of now not supported here, you will get in JSON format. Now you will get an Avro and I will show you we will get the data. And then what you are doing, this is the sync detail. Sync is what? Where you are storing the data, right? So anything within comma, it will uh, consider as a, a word, right? And this is the sync. Sync means the destination. I am saying that uh, file type is data stream. Data stream means it will uh, create temporary files and then start writing into text files. Okay. And the write format is text, batch size, roll size and roll count. This is very important. So what will happen is that it says batch size is 1000, roll size is 0, roll count is 10,000, roll interval is 600. What I will do, I will explain these properties in the next example. So it will make more sense right? because tweets are very difficult to explain using these properties. Then you say the memory channel type is memory. That means your channel is RAM. Uh, its capacity is 1 GB. So this is the value that you are giving. Transaction capacity is 100 MB, which means it can hold 1 GB data, but at a time maximum 100 MB read and write can happen. So source can either write to the channel or sync and read from the channel at 100 Mbps speed. But the total amount it can store is this number. So huh, ideally this is an Mbps. So this is just random values I put, but in production you have to actually look at what is the size of your uh, uh, data and then decide accordingly. This agent this only this for. Agent. Huh. Ha. So if you start running this, it will occupy this much space in your RAM because this is your transaction capacity, right? Ha, RAM, Who, whoever is managing the RAM, your system admin. So it will occupy this much space in your RAM first and then the source can write at a time 100, sorry, it's not 100 Mbps, it is 100 uh, events. So Flume has a concept of event. An event is the smallest unit of data you can transfer. In case of tweets, one tweet is an event. If you are collecting log files, one line is an event. So this means the source can write 100 events at a time or the sync can read 100 events at a time from the channel. So 1 GB capacity you have, 
100 tweets can land at a time, 100 tweets it can read at a time. That is the capacity you are mentioning. And then you mention that you have to store it as .txt, blah, 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 and the HDFS path. So this is like 100 events in a second. So 100 tweets in a second. It's very rare you get 100 tweets in a second because, and if you get also, you will not be able to store because that much speed it comes, right? So this value you have to decide based on how many events are coming and what is your capacity of your machine. And the next question is that where will you run Flume? You won't run Flume inside Hadoop cluster. Flume has nothing to do with Hadoop to be precise. Okay. Flume is an independent project. So we don't run Flume within Hadoop. Hadoop cluster will be there. You will install Flume in a separate server because that needs a lot of resources and connectivity and all, right? So that machine will have connectivity with the Hadoop cluster. Let's say it is getting tweets, it will download and then push into HDFS, right? And this is the location where the tweets will appear. I want you to change these four values in your configuration. Also change this location. It is GL faculty. So here it has to be your username. Now that is your project, right? Say for example, uh, we did a project on a demonetization. So we want to get all the tweets related to demonetization. Uh, uh, there should be a documentation I can give you. I don't have it right now, but yes. So, but if you simply search for Google like uh, uh, Flume source, this one, it will give you a list of arguments you can pass. Ha. The most important one is keywords. Like you mentioned, these are the keywords that you want, right? Now, change this also, the location. Otherwise, everybody will start accessing my home folder and you will end up in error, actually. Yes, without channel, Flume engine will not start. And, and very important thing, I think I forgot this. If you look at this line, uh, where is it? Where is the source? Source. Huh. So this source is Twitter, right? This uh, this source is connecting with memory channel. This line, this is my source called Twitter. It is connecting with the memory channel. And sync will also connect with memory channel. Huh. See, this line. Meaning both source and sync should talk to channel, right? Huh. So these lines are, see, the name of my sync is HDFS. That is talking to which channel? Memory channel. Who is putting that in that channel? Twitter source. But if you change that value, it will never explode. Huh. And it is very difficult to debug. <laughs> so any many mistake you make in this, okay, you will you have to sit a week to debug. It is very confusing configuration, right? If you look at the configuration, it is easy to read, but sometimes instead of HDFS, you type something else, and then you forget what you have sort of type. Then you have to sit and understand which property you changed, where you changed. It's very difficult to uh, understand these properties. So, when should a file be created? Like you are getting tweets. Should uh, 1000 tweets be in a file or 10,000 tweets? So, you can control that using multiple properties. Either the number of events. Like when 100 tweets come, create a file. Or time. If it is 1 minute, roll. Roll interval. So, that is what we have written here. Here it does not matter. Roll size, roll count, roll interval. So, here I have just given some random values. Uh, but it will start creating multiple files. So there you can say either it is based on the time or the size of the data or, or something else that you want, right? So if you have this file, I just want to test run it first of all before we go further into discussion. The, the command is already here. Can you see this file? There is a, a command uh, here and all you need to do is copy paste this. I will copy paste first to ensure it is running and then we will, you can also run. Ha, huh. very good. See, it is getting the documents, process 100, 200. See, it's downloading the data, very easy. So it says establishing connection, connection established, receiving status stream, right, and creating the folder. So it is processing, I think, uh, at least 100 documents it is getting in each, each, this thing. Uh, and it says total documents 1000, again it will start processing it. It keeps on streaming the data now. So copy paste and run that and see if you can get the data. Control C, kill it. Uh, if you do not do control C, it keeps on like running forever. 